This week on the show, we have French actor Stéphane Menez, who stars in the Apple TV comedy series, Ted Lasso. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of learning to set standards on what you will and will not accept. The reality is, if you don't have a baseline standard on what you will and will not accept in your life, then it becomes easy to fall short and slip into unhealthy relationships, lifestyle choices, and toxic habits that set you back from living a healthy and prosperous life. Successful people have high standards for not only what they expect from others, but more importantly, what they expect from themselves. Setting these standards make it easier to navigate your daily decisions, from what you eat in the morning to which relationships you keep in your life. Making your mission today to set high standards for yourself so that you live a life honoring your self-worth and limitless potential. As Greg Anderson quotes, let us be about setting high standards for life, love, creativity, and wisdom. If our expectations in these areas are low, we are not likely to experience wellness. Setting high standards makes every day and every decade worth looking forward to. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. Fast forward today, all your hard work paid off. Let's talk about your role as Richard in Apple TV's Ted Lasso across uh, Jason Sudeikis. I think I've been extremely, extremely lucky and fortunate. I mean, I've been cast. Obviously, I didn't know Jason or anyone. I don't need, I don't even know who he was when I was on set. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, that's Jason. Oh, okay, great. But I don't know. I've, I've been three years in Asia. How could I know Jason <laughs> or any any one of them? Hey, so nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Joe Kelly. Oh, what do you do, Joe? <laughs> well, I wrote uh, I Met Your Mother. Oh, okay. Good. You know what? I'm going to stop asking stupid questions. <laughs> I have no idea. And I've just done the casting on, um, on Spotlight, which is a platform for casting. I think it was an open call, so I don't remember properly. But my agent told me, oh, they just look for... Um, for a football player, I'm not even sure it has to be French at first. And um, I've been very, very lucky. It took me, it was the best job I could ever had. Wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Next up on the show, we have French actor Stéphane Menez, who plays Richard Montelour in the Apple TV comedy series Ted Lasso, starring Jason Sudeikis. Stéphane, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, I'm very happy. Still doing my little trips through uh, through America. It's been two months now. First time in the US, and uh, you guys have been very welcoming. So I'm quite happy to be honest. The weather is good. <laughs> very very nice, and we're very excited to talk to you and about your success as Richard on Ted Lasso on Apple TV. But before we get into that, I'm curious. I know that you worked in India, Philippines prior to uh, going back to France. So. Tell us about how it was traveling the world and starting your career internationally. Um, how was it? Well, basically, I've done um, five years to do a master to in international marketing, communication, electricity, and uh, whatever. So I've just studied this in uh, kind of engineering for a long time. And when I decided to say, okay, I want to be an actor, and um, I tried to do many short films, so student films, and I know how terrible I was, and I said, okay, there is no way I can. I can fit in the industry with my level right now and um, there is no way I could afford any um, private acting school in Paris now that I was done with my five year study. So the only way cheap that I could have found to elevate myself or to be a better actor or person or have more experience was to travel. And actually India was my first choice because it's extremely cheap to live there. They have a huge acting industry. Uh, obviously Bollywood and uh, Yollywood, Hollywood, all of them. And they speak English. I didn't speak English at the time. Obviously now it's a little better. It's not perfect, but it's a little better. And uh, so I chose the India. So I went to India for a year and a half, almost two years, learning English, acting, having life experience at all these light philosophers said in France that travel makes a man or a woman traveling alone. There's nothing better in the world that or in your life experience, I mean, for me, than traveling alone, I'm very lucky in a way that I'm a man. So it's uh, it's maybe a little easier for me to travel. So I took that all in, went to India, then I've done my India experience for a year and a half, then Tokyo, then Philippines, and just trying to survive doing some small jobs here and there, or trying to do some modeling picture. It was decent money to survive. And then I came back to France with three years of international experience, not as an 
as a great actor, but just traveling as a, as a human being. And I came back with much more confidence, much more things to share on and off screen. And um, this is how I started. It's, it's absolutely true. Traveling definitely um, opens your eyes um, to how yeah. much there is in the world. There's so much to experience. And only when you travel do you get to see how big the world is and how beautiful it is. So um, I agree with you there. I want to talk about Bollywood. How was your experience with Bollywood? Of course, it's a huge industry and it's quite different from Paris, of course, friends. So how was your experience? <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely different, <laughs> yeah. obviously, um, and uh, Bollywood and, and Tokyo industry, it's uh, like okay. the exact opposite, so going from one to another. I mean, Indian people are extremely nice, they're so warm, and uh, but they, they act just different, I mean, they, uh, they proceed in a different way. As on set, there's hundreds of people just <laughs> here sitting looking at you and just waiting for instruction from the director the producer i remember this time i was on a, on a movie i was most of the time my my uh, characters okay not genji that's uh, japanese um the cute white foreigner was making the main actor indian jealous from his girlfriend so most of the time my role was the same but anyway so it was very fun <laughs> and this this day all these people extra not extras but they are on set and they're waiting for instruction and the 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 director had an idea. I would love to have a white tree there. We were in the center of Mumbai or, or Bangalore, I forgot. And he, he wanted a white tree. He said, guys, find me a white tree. And there was this <laughs> 80 people just going into, into the city. And in 20 minutes, they just, they found a tree, they cut a tree, they painted white, they planted it. And that, oh, that was super fun to watch. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's different. I mean, we get delayed, it's cool. We find a solution, it's super hot or the motion is coming. And everybody's sweaty, but you have to change clothes every 10 minutes because I was sweating so much. <laughs> Compared to, to Tokyo, where if you're two minutes late, you get fired. And there is no excuse. Oh, come on, two minutes? No, 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 no. You have to be an hour in advance. It's wow. totally different. That that Mumbai, that you're, you're on time. No, we start in three hours. It's fine. But anyway, so it was very interesting to see different culture and the way they're working. Very interesting. I mean, you got to experience quite a <laughs> different experience. I mean, going to India, going to Tokyo, right. that's uh, quite amazing. And I want to talk about, I heard that you decided you wanted to be an actor after you watched Harry Potter. So what was it about the yeah. movie that kind of sparked your interest in this industry? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's, maybe it was more like uh, something quite magical when I saw that. Like uh, when you see Pokemon when you're seven, I want to be a Pokemon dresser. <laughs> or, but Harry Potter, I was a little more mature. And when I saw this young kid, Daniel Radcliffe, the exact same age, 11, 11, when Harry Potter came out. First, I was in love with the, with the movie and I saw a little pass behind, past this. How cool would it be to be an actor in this? Then I've started to watch a lot of making of. That looks so fun. And all those grown men walking together, smart people when you're a kid. That would be good to be guided and do this. And in the end, you have a fantastic results. And I say, okay, maybe that's possible. But from the little city I was, I say, no, like, that's for people from New York, from Paris, from big city. You cannot do that. And when I moved to a big city to study and I've seen, oh, there's actually acting classes, acting school, directing classes, cinema school. I said, oh, maybe you can do this. But Harry Potter was a big, one of the big uh, pillars in my mental decision to be an actor. And maybe Troy was one too when I saw Brad Pitt. I think it's the first movie I've ever cried. <laughs> when I, I saw Brad Pitt, I said, why am I crying? That's <laughs> what is this weird, why am I crying? It's just a movie. And this is, yeah, maybe the two movie where something happened in my, in my heart. Oh, very nice. And, and I heard that uh, you got scouted by a talent agent to your good luck that asked you to be mm. in a movie. So how do you think, you know, that experience kind of started the trajectory for being in this industry? Okay, uh, I, th I think that is a reference. It wasn't exactly like this. I was in my, still my small city in the Alps, uh, in France. I think I was 15 and they were scouting for, scouting for just extras in the city. And I said, oh, that's great. Okay, I should go and try. So they took me as an extra. And after some days, the director, or oh, I don't know who, said, okay, Stefan, you're gonna try to be an actor in the, in the movie to have a small role. I said, great, one more week extra work. I didn't go to school, I stayed on set and I sp spent time with the main actors, eating with them, sharing the same uh, loge, the loge, excuse, excuse me for my English. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I managed to see what it was to be a main a lead actor in a professional movie for a week. And that was fantastic. So when I was 16, I said, wow, that looks very cool. But my way into um, traditional school was already made. I've applied for good school in, and they, um, anyway. But this is, yeah, a very important moment in my life when I said, okay, that's extremely amazing and I love it. So this is how it happened. Wow, very nice. And fast forward today, all your hard work paid off. Let's talk about your role as Richard in Apple TV's Ted Lasso across uh, Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, okay, what do you want to know? <laughs> Let's talk about your role. Tell us about it. <laughs> okay, I think I've been extremely, extremely lucky and fortunate. I mean, I've been cast. Obviously, I didn't know Jason or anyone. I don't, need, I don't even know who he was when I was on set. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's Jason. Oh, okay, great. I don't know. I've, I've been three years in Asia. How could I know Jason? <laughs> or any, any one of them. Hey, so nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Joe Kelly. Oh, what do you do, Joe? <laughs> well, I wrote, uh, I met your mother. Oh, okay. Good. You know what? I'm going to stop asking stupid questions. <laughs> I had no idea. And I've just done the casting on, um, on Spotlight, which is a platform for casting. I think it was an open call. So I don't remember properly, but my agent told me, oh, they just look for... Um, for a football player, I'm not even sure it has to be French at first. And um, I've been very, very lucky. It took me, it was the best job I could ever had, considering my acting skill was great, wasn't perfect. I'm not DiCaprio. Um, they looked for French. Thank, thanks God, uh, the French team won the World Cup in 2018, <laughs> one year before. Maybe it influenced them. Uh, we need a French. And um, my resume was, uh, wasn't the best one. I mean, there's many things as I'm like, so thank you. I don't know who made this decision, but Jason say, said, or I don't know who said, okay, Stefan, there's maybe a, there's a potential. We, uh, it's not perfect, but it's going to be great with us. And, um, I'm very happy the way they welcomed me. My English was way worse than right now. I could not understand what they were saying at first. And I was like, oh my God, what this <laughs> is. Uh, I'm, I'm very anxious about this. And Jason gave, gave me a pep talk like quickly. He said, Stefan, you don't understand. We make jokes. We speak fast. You just ask. If, yeah. you, if you're not sure, just ask me or anyone here. Everybody's going to give you a hand. Cola helped me. Crystal helped me a lot. Brad helped me. Joe Kelly speaks decent French uh, because his wife is French. So I've been in the best environment to, to breathe, to release myself as an actor. And I've been very fortunate that now I'm extremely confident. And um, I learned a lot, as you can imagine, in three years. So it's like every little thing went together to give me this opportunity and to be able to fulfill myself and give the best I could do. So I feel very lucky and blessed so far. Yeah, it seems like it. It seems like everything came together for you. All the experience, all the traveling, yes. all the hard yeah. work and, you know, risking. Put, make, you have to take risks, right? To travel and, and take opportunities. Take risks. Yeah. It looks you like have it to all... take risks. And, um, and if you feel it's the right way to do it and you don't harm anybody and you just get, um, get experience and you do what you like, I mean, in the end, just take risks. And if you fail, you fail and it's fine. At, at least you did something. And um, and it's starting to be not too bad for me. I'm very happy. I've never been happier in my life. And I hope it's just the beginning at the same. I hope it's just almost just a beginning for, for Jason himself. I mean, we always we always try to do better as creative person. And uh, he should be very proud, but I'm sure he'll never stop here. He will always try to do, to do as good as he's doing. Absolutely. And what kind of training did you have to do? Obviously, you play a professional uh, football player. Mm. So what kind of training was that necessary for this role? I think I don't think not much training. We just had to be professional and to, to stay fit and be in shape for the role. And um, we've been very well trained by professional on set, professional footballers. So two weeks rehearsal, one week rehearsal for the drill you're seeing. So there's a lot of work before that. Okay, Stephanie, you do this, you do that. This is the scene. We walk it like this. We're going to practice it again and again. And when the day of the shooting come, we just have a couple of tapes. Uh, tapes. So we practice with professional footballers to do the drills. But as for f training the body and stuff, everybody's going to gym and work out and being professional about it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And how has your family reacted to your success, of course, in France, seeing your success on Ted Lasso? What was their reaction? Uh, <laughs> tough, tough question. Man. <laughs> uh, well, I can't say they don't care, but uh, but they don't care much. I'd say, they, I mean, they don't. 
they don't. Uh, I've been away from my family for a long time. I'm, I'm more like a lonely wolf, and um, it's it's fine with it. Maybe I should share more, but but yeah, the family is a little not, not weird, but no. As long as I'm not on the the lead poster in France, they're like, well, I said, hey, you know, the last was pretty big in the US. Okay, well, I'm not sure they have they have seen it. So all of them, but uh, I mean, it, they are happy for me. Obviously, and they, I told them I'm extremely happy, so they're happy. And my dad is, um, you know, the kind of dad. I mean, uh, you got paid for the job? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Continue. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's all. That's all that matters. You know. Yeah. You know Okay. I mean, <laughs> this industry is hard, right? So it's like, if you find <laughs> a big break like you did, I'm sure they're very proud of you. And this is just the beginning for yeah. you. We're going to see you in so many more roles. And now, yeah, that, you know, so. now that you're seen in it's, the it's world. Ju it's just that maybe maybe they can't understand. It's uh, I'm the only artist uh, in the family, kind of. So so they, yeah. they have no idea. I just break through school. Or my mom wanted uh, lawyer stuff. My dad is a my dad is a gypsy. So <laughs> uh, it's it's, uh, it's 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 different. But but it's okay. They are very happy. And you know, I created this platform to inspire my audience and showcase success stories like yours. So for any of our viewers, you know, going through a hard time, maybe not seeing success in their career, they're putting in the work, they're not seeing success, because as we both know, this, this industry is difficult. You don't see success right away. What would you say to inspire and motivate them to continue moving forward? Yeah, big responsibility for, for those who are watching. First, uh, it takes time. Second, there's ups and downs, and there is no, don't believe, I mean, you can listen to a lot of people, and I'm sure you've, you've noticed that there is no path, there, there is no way if there is, oh, okay, you want to be an engineer, you have to do your five years and get your stamp, that's quite easy. You want to be a very successful actor or just live with your, with your job as an artist. You can take two twins, I'll give you the exact opposite direction, 180 degrees, and you can find out that you you end up in the same way there is no power there is no direction just do your best and and don't stop working but just it's like we say in marketing there's three pillars there's there's your project your logistic and your communication i mean those have to be pretty decent um be, be a good actor uh communicate about it if you stay in your room and you don't do anything you don't send mails you don't send self-tapes you don't try to look for for an agent i mean it's not gonna drop out of the sky just like this you have to do this yeah. and your logistic be on time be professional be uh, know your lines even if your product is not the best do the best you can do to to have all of this together and then your positivity and your life experience and that's what works for me but it might not work for you but if you always stay in your little city in your little town when you go i've had international experience thanks god and even with all of this I arrived on the set and I was totally lost on the last one. Like, okay, how is? Oh my God, I'm uh, I'm kind of unsecured and and uh, it comes with experience. So do if you're starting, starting. Lots of student films, shorts, movies. Don't get paid. I've done this for three, three. I started first time I was 18. Uh, now I started to pay off at 27. It took me nine years. Mm. It's a long time. I've been a waiter. I've been in crane, in, uh, crane operator. I've been a driver. I've been traveling doing modeling for, for 40, $40 a day on the cash in and in India just to, to survive. And it's okay with that. There is no right and wrong. So very happy for you if you made it in a week and there is no no shame or no hard feeling if you if it takes 40, 40 years. But there's no right or wrong way. Just do your best. Keep a smile. Do Be, be positive and, uh, and keep, don't take anything personal. Most important thing. Do not take anything personal. It's just yeah. business. Why you didn't take me for the job? I was great. They want a blonde. Or they want a girl. Yeah. Or they want a taller. Or I could have. Been. It's not personal. It's yeah. really not personal. Ninety-nine percent of the time, it's not. If it is personal, you have to change. And um, and it's okay. It's okay to fail. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's not personal. Yeah, I think that's really good advice and practical advice that it's not personal because I think it's so easy to not book a job for or put a self tape in and, you know, maybe mm, not get mm. it and then take it personally thinking there's something wrong with yeah. you. But sometimes it's just, you know what, sometimes there's something bigger in the cards for you. It might not be that role, yeah. but there's something bigger. I mean, look at I mean, look at your story. I mean, yeah. look, I mean, Ted Lasso, it's a huge 
huge show. So yeah, congratulations, Stefan. Thank you so much for being on the show today. And I'm really excited to see what else is in the show. You're welcome. You. Thanks for having me. And uh, I hope uh, I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, I'm doing great right now, but ups and down. You know, it's not always sparkly and, and lovely, and it's okay. Just do your best. Yeah, and Stefan, what else are you currently working on before we let you go? Uh, right now, to be honest, I'm working on maybe getting a US visa and um, being able to find more opportunities in this country because I really liked it. It also gave me, changed my life. So I own a lot to the US so far and I really love the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood industry. So I'm working on this. I'm composing music. I'm trying to, to finish and to write a movie about acting, not giving you the title yet, but it's about the ups and down in the ups and down into the acting world, the industry, and the what is it to be an artist, and how hard is it to fail, and um, and our uh, our life is it as an artist? Only so, yeah, I'm just basically I'm trying to write, I'm composing music, and uh, I'm trying to look for new opportunities right now. Very nice. Well, we're excited to see what else is in store for you. Again, Stefan, thank you so much for being on the show today, and congratulations on all your success. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.